Nobody buys flatbed scanners for scanning in photos anymore, or almost nobody. The reason is our smartphones have become so darn good at capturing all sorts of images, including capturing photographs that are printed out. But there is one major shortcoming to capturing photos with a smartphone, and that's the issue of glare. You've tried to take pictures of a photo album or just a printed photo, and the image has been marginalized because glare bouncing up. And I, that's something that you don't get when you scan in with a flatbed scanner. Google recognized this and they've created a great new feature in PhotoScan to eliminate the glare. We'll take a look at it today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Today I want to talk about removing the glare from photos that we take pictures of. And we've all been there. I was there just this past weekend. My sister had a wedding anniversary party. It was her 40th wedding anniversary. Holy cow, 40 years. Uh, and I wanted to take some pictures of the old photos in the album. And I used the new version of Google Photo Scan in order to take the pictures and I was delighted with the results because Google has incorporated some functionality now that eliminates the glare. And it's really based on the same technology that we use for stitching panoramas together, where you take multiple photos and then it averages out those photos and cleans them up. But let me show you how it works with photos because this is something you are going to want to use. Uh, I'll just show you by taking a picture of a photo on the wall. I've got a nice glassed photo here of my three generations of Dotto men fishing. Me, my son, and my dad all fishing. Now if I wanted to capture a photo of this, I would have to take these photos out of the frame and figure out exactly how to position them so there was no glare. Oh, it would be a nightmare taking a picture. Not so much anymore now that I'm using Google's photo scan. Watch how it works. We take the picture uh, you in making sure that we have the glare reduction feature enabled. And then when we go to take the picture, Google Photos does the normal job, is they parse out what photo you're taking. So you could just take a picture of a single photo or an entire collage of photos all at once, but it will frame the photo and then it uses these little white dots in order to tell us to move our camera over top and kind of hit the target dot uh, so that it then captures the image. And by moving it to four locations, it then averages out where the glare is and completely removes it. And this can work for single photos or for entire photo pages. This is a boon if you want to capture those photos at a family reunion or a wedding anniversary party. Anywhere there's a photo album that you want to capture pictures of or photos on the wall that typically speaking you would have captured glare before. Now you can get nice clean photos to save for yourself or to share. I think that Google has just caught a little stroke of brilliance in applying this feature. Now there are other tools that we use for scanning in photos. I still like using Evernote's uh, Scannable uh, for capturing documents and that kind of information because it links directly to Evernote. But Google Photo Scan is another scanning app that's free that lives in my productivity toolkit that I plan to use for a long time and I think you will want to use as well. Well, I hope you found today's video to be useful and I believe you probably have. If so, please share it with others and let them know about what a cool app Google has developed for scanning in photos. And while you're at it, a like on this video would be greatly appreciated. And if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you hear when we upload any new videos here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.